the Anderson family. I don't care, Oliver, if Homer did buy another car. Ours is plenty good enough. It needs paint. Okay, paint it. But it rattles, Mom. Then we'll fix the rattles. You know how much it costs to fix the rattles in the engine? Oliver Anderson, you'll just be satisfied with the car we have. Don't raise your voice. Who's raising their voice? Uh Uh-oh, here we go again, folks. Now let's visit the Anderson family. This whole thing started when Oliver heard that Homer Meister, the man next door, had bought a new used car. As soon as he heard this, he found a hundred things wrong with his own car. But he has a tough audience in Mary, the holder of the purse strings, despite the fact that Junior rather leans toward his father's wishes. Right now, Oliver is over talking to Homer Meister, which only serves to fan the flames of action in Oliver. Uh, There she is, Oliver. Hey, ain't she a beauty? Hmm. How do you get in it? Uh, it's a two-door. Martha kind of liked that kind. Of course, I, I'm more of a top-down man myself. <laughs> well, what made you get green? Didn't they have any other color car? Nope, nope, not in this model, they didn't. And the fellow who sold it to me, well, he just acted like he didn't care if I bought a car or not. Uh, they're fine people. How much to you pay for it, or is it a secret? Nope, 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 it ain't. I give him my car and... Six hundred dollars for it. Six hundred dollars and your car? It's a hold-up. No, taint no such thing. Yeah, she purrs like a kitten. <clears throat> yeah, want to get in and see how it sits? No, I'll just listen. Uh, okay. It's got one of them, them push-button starters. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's an improvement over the crank. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll just turn it over a few times so you can see. <laughs> Maybe she needs gas. Yeah, got plenty of gas. That's enough. What's that you say? Shut off the motor so we can hear each other. Hey, don't sound loud. Uh, 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 does she? Well, I guess if you stay on the pavement with it, it'll be all right. Yeah. Oh, me. Uh, that's a little of the smoke in the car when the river clear up. The motor will be in the car, too, if you race it. Uh, what's wrong? You ain't jealous, are you, Oliver? Me? Jealous? Don't be silly. Jealous of what? Oh, me being uh, progressive-like? Pro- <laughs> what's progressive about buying a car when you need it? Well, now, if you want to go down and meet the fellow where I got this, well, he can get you one of them unusual deals. No, uh, I don't think uh, so. If I decide to change my car, I'll shop around a bit, not pick up the first thing they offer me. Yeah, in Homer's garage. What is it? Mom wants you to come home. Oh, hello, Mr. Meister. Well, howdy, son. Hey, seen my new car? It's keen, Mr. Meister. Yeah, you wouldn't know it was a used car, would you? No, <laughs> I thought you made it yourself. <laughs> oh, you hush. I like green, Mr. Meister. Well, no, thanks, sonny. You're... Your coming in when you did kind of makes me feel like the car's all right. Now, yep. look, Homer, I didn't rib the car. I just don't like green is all. Well, it's better than the one I had, anyhow. When are we going to get a different car, Pop? Well, I hadn't given it much thought. Maybe if we just painted ours. No, no, it's past paint, Junior. Oh, don't run so bad, Oliver. Well, it needs work, of course. Maybe if I run into a good buy someplace, I may deal. Mom's waiting, Pop. Oh, yeah. Well, Homer, thanks for the interview, and I hope you have good luck with it. Yeah, hope to. Come on, Junior, let's go. You got stuck with that car. You know that, don't you? Maybe. But, gee, Pop, you make him feel bad. Feel bad? No, 
don't see why. Well, I thought the green was kind of icky, too, but, gee, I wouldn't want to hurt Mr. Meister's feelings. Oh, he's not that sensitive. Are you going to change our car, Pop? Well, it's according to what I can do with your mother. I think she knows that, Pop. Knows what? Oh, I don't know, but she thinks our car is plenty good enough. Look, if Homer can afford a different car, so can we. Oh, I agree with you there, Pop, but... Mom's a different person. Now, you leave Mom to me. Huh? You run on in. I'll drop over to the drugstore and call this man who buys cars and have him come out and see what he'll do on mine. Is that you, Oliver? Yeah. What did you think of Homer's new used car? Same as you. Oh, now, Oliver, it's really not that bad. Martha was over. She's just thrilled to death with it. That's the first thing they've agreed on for years. But this other car was in pretty bad shape. Yeah, I know. He's right about that. When a car begins to need a lot of repairs, get rid of it. Well, thank goodness ours doesn't act up. Oh, yes, it does. You haven't complained much about it. Okay, Junior. Tell Mom what the kids do when I drive my car past them. They take off their hats, Mom. You see? Take off their hats? Why should they do that? The kids say you should always take your hat off in the presence of old age. Oh, I see. And he didn't make that up, either. I noticed the difference in the way the car runs lately, but I haven't spoken about it. We could have it fixed. I doubt it. It needs paint, rattles like a pair of phony dice, needs tires. It's pretty noisy, too, Mom. Hmm? And the smell of oil keeps getting in the car. Well, why don't you wait till the new cars come out, Oliver? Because I have to have a car now, Mary. Look what I say. I turn it in, and whoever buys it has to pay for everything. Well, how about the car you buy? That's where smart buying comes in. I see. Well, suppose you show me just what you mean when you say our car's on its last trip. I can't. I left it over to Pete's garage. He said he'd look it over, and if it needed too much, he'd just drive it home and leave it. He's already done that. Hmm? It's in the garage now. It is? And on its own power? I don't know. I wasn't home when he left it. Well, leave it where it is, then. You can see that even Pete gave up on it. Oh, who is this now? Well, maybe it's the man from the used car lot. Well, if it is, it'll be a long trip back for him. Yes? Ah, oh, good evening, miss. I'm Jaime Harrison from Jake, the generous gypsy's used car lot. I'm to look at a clunk. Oh, a clunk? Uh. Hmm. Come in and talk to my husband. Oliver, this man is from Joe's, the generous gypsy. Jake's. Oh, there's a difference? And how? Well, I got a lot of cars to look at, and it ain't our policy to stall a seller. So I'll give you $250 for it. $250? We haven't seen it. Oh, well, if you want to go through a lot, I can't offer a dime more than 220 Where's this crate? Crate? That's just a term, Mary. He hasn't even seen the car yet. You'll find that Jake offers the top dollar. And we don't even ask where you got it. We bought it. But you're honest people. You mean everybody doesn't buy them? You'll be surprised how many dishonest people there are. Well, it seems to me those people would buy a car and not pay for it like honest people do. Oh, wow, well, this is a funny world, brother. Well, let's look at the clunk. Clunk? Uh, <clears throat> oh, yes, you mean the car. Uh, come on, it's out in the garage. Now, let's start at the top dollar on this model here. It's a 1934. Late 1934. Tires, two with tread, and a couple of baldies. I was going to get new ones. Well, let the guy who buys it get them. Now, let's see. Um, uh, does a dog sleep in a car? Dog? We don't have a dog. Upholstery needs cleaning. Paint bad. Uh, how's the motor? I use it every day. Motor's in bad shape. Uh, do you owe anything on it? No, it's paid for. Good. Let's see here. Uh, radio? Yeah, it works swell. Get anything on it. Uh, come with the car, huh? Yeah. Uh, old-fashioned radio. No charge. If the radio isn't worth anything, we'll uh, take it out. No, leave it in, leave it in. It fills up the dash. Now, let's see. Um, suppose it has an engine? Oh, well, sure. I'll start it up. No, no, never mind. I'll just take a look at it. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it needs motor overhaul. We just put new spark plugs ah, in it. Plugs won't help this chariot, miss. Well, do I hear 150? 160. 70. 80. 90. Hey, 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 wait a minute. I'm bidding against myself. I didn't hear 200. Because I didn't say it, mister. Now, look, let's be honest. By the time we install a motor and paint it... Yeah, it does need paint. Of course, uh, we have a system of painting them. Run them through the course and they're dry. Looking like a new car in two hours' time. Mm, maybe we should keep it, Oliver. We could have it painted like that. Uh, how much would it cost us, Honest Hermie? Well, if you had it done, it would be $77.50. With us, we get a rate, $6.95. Uh, no, 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 I don't think I'll sell it. I have to get more than 200 for it. Okay. Tell you what you do. You stop in on your way to work and see my boss. Maybe he can do better. 
Maybe that's sensible. You'll find that Jake the Generous Gypsy is a man of integrity. That's why he's tops. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, now don't put me in the middle, though. I'll be looking for you. I'll be seeing you soon. Two hundred for our now, car. Now, don't worry, I'll get more. I'll have Homer take me where he bought his car. <laughs> Hey, it's right around the corner here, Oliver. You think we'll make it? Well, ain't you sure? I guess I better have them tuned up a bit. They're right nice about things like that. Well, they should be for the kind of money you spent for this. Ah, uh, well, here we are. Gee, this is the generous gypsy's place. Yep, yep. I bought it from him because uh, <laughs> I like the name. Oh. Hey, wait a minute, buddy. That's parking for customers only. Get that iron out of here. Me? Well, now, wait a minute, young fella. Uh, I'm a customer. Oh, oh, well, that's different. I'll give you six bets for it. Six bets? I just paid 600 for it just today. Well, that's your fault. If you'd have stopped here, you could have picked it up for half that. Oh, hello, Anderson. Hello, Hermie. I told the boss about you. Come on in. He's in a dealing mood. That's fine. You make a deal with him, then. I just listened to one of your deals. Oh, uh, he's just joking, Oliver. <laughs> Of course I am. Didn't sound like it to me. Look, we get these beasts every day. If we listen to them all, we'd go right out of business. Look, Homer bought the car here, paid three prices for it, and wants a slight adjustment made. Wait and... a minute, bud. Are you a lawyer? Hey, come on, Oliver. Never mind. Are you a lawyer or ain't you? No, I'm not a lawyer. But you can't push an older man around like this. I ain't pushing an old man around. When a guy buys a car from Jake, he's made a buy. He can't come crying around later. Hey, I ain't crying around. And if I was ten years younger... You'd what? Uh, well, maybe twenty. Now, look, Hermie, don't get pushy. If you want to push someone around, you'll push someone your own age. Mean and who? Mean and me. That's what I thought you said. You asked for it, Bob. Uh, you, you better get up, Oliver. Uh, the folks are looking at you. Mm. <laughs> Now back to the Anderson family. Oliver Anderson had a little difficulty with the buyer at Jake the Generous Gypsy's used car lot when the man started pushing Homer Meister, Oliver's neighbor. At Oliver's invitation, the buyer turned on Oliver, which of course eliminates any deal Oliver might have made with him. Mary Anderson has waited for word from Oliver, and not hearing from him, is about to start out to sell the car herself. Hurry, Junior. Slip on your jacket. We'll drive down and see what we can do with selling the car. Maybe Pop's already made a deal, Mom. Well, if he has, it's a secret. I think we can do better. Okay, Mom. I'll be right with you. I know where the used car lots are. I'll keep the car before I'll accept 200 for it. Now, if you're ready, let's go make a sale. <laughs> Take it easy, Mom. The lots are right in this block. Yes, so I see. Uh, isn't that the generous gypsy's lot across the street? Yeah, and a place to park, too, Mom. Pull in. We'll walk over. There we are. Gee, there's a lot of used car lots along here, Mom. Mm, so I see. Mm. Come on, get out. Good afternoon, ma'am. Want to sell your car? I think it's already sold. Oh, we can top any price you've had. Fair play, Farnham will not be outbid. Hello, Sonny. Hello. My husband was going to see about selling it to Jake, the generous gypsy. That crook, why, he don't know what generous means. Well, of course, I'm only interested in getting the most for the car. Well, you park right in front of the right place, ma'am. Come in the office and you'll go out with the top dollar. <laughs> Oliver Anderson speaking. Oliver, I just sold the car. You did? Mm -hmm. Gee, I wish you'd have waited till I went with you, Mary. You know how they shortchange a woman. They didn't shortchange me, darling. I just put a check for four hundred dollars in the bank. Uh, four hundred? You didn't sell the garage with the car, did you? I did not. Junior and I have been looking over some of the cars, and well, I'm sorry. Now we sold ours. Well, don't commit yourself on anything. I'll get out of this jute mill early and see if I can pick up a good buy. Well, Junior and I'll go on home after we buy a few. Okay, if I find something good, I'll drive it home, hmm? Mm, but be careful what you buy, Oliver, and be sure you buy from an old, reliable dealer. I'd like to see anyone 
take me on a car deal. Now, don't you worry. You're shopping with $400 and tell me not to worry? Well, then I won't buy anything till you see it. So long. You know how they try to sell you something in a hurry. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'll tell them I'm just looking. Goodbye. How do you do, sir? Find something you like. No, 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 I'm just uh, looking around a bit. We sold our car this afternoon. Oh, then you've come to the right place. There's no high-powered salesmanship at Fair Play Farms. That's the way I like it. Now, if you'll step this way, we'll see what we can do. I'm just looking. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> now, uh, let's see. Uh, are you married? What's that got to do with it? Any children? One. Oh, then you'd like a sedan. Mm. <laughs> now, over here, I have an excellent buy and an escort. Essex. Now, wait a minute. Let's not go back that far. Oh, it's the condition of a car that counts. I don't want an Essex. Uh, how much do you want to spend? Not any more than I have to. I see. Uh, now, over over there is a good, clean, mechanically good Pierce Arrow. Good, heavy road car and built like a battleship. And steers like one. <laughs> Too big, huh? Mm. Uh, well, I, I know more now what you want. Uh, l- let's go over there. And to save you time and myself, don't show me any unless they have starters and electric lights. No, I'm just showing you what we have. How much is that black car there? Uh, that black one? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, the black one. Oh, that's a, that's a 35 in perfect shape, just gone over in our own shops. We, we give a, a 10-hour guarantee on that one. Yeah, but how much? Well, uh, I can let you have that for $1,650. Sixteen hundred and fifty? Mm-hmm. It's old new for nine hundred. Uh, can you buy a new one? Well, you got me. No. But are you allowed to ask that much? Oh, 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 come now. Don't be naive. You, you know how things are today? I'm beginning to learn. However, I did take in a fairly clean 34 Rolo 6 this afternoon. It's in the paint shop now. Be ready in about ten minutes. Uh, maybe you'd like that. Well, that sounds more like it. I just sold a 34 Rolo 6. Oh, then you know what a lot of service you'll get out of it. Mine was in pretty bad shape. Well, you did the right thing when they get in bad shape. Sell them and let someone else spend the money on them. Okay, let's look at it. Uh, well, we're about ready to close now, but if you like, I'll stick around a few minutes and wrap it up for you. Well, now, don't change your routine Oh, no, me. no, no, it's no bother at all. You, you can see it anyhow. Hey, 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 Oliver. Huh? Oh, boy, gee, am I glad to see you. What's, what's wrong with you, Homer? What are you doing down here? Well, there won't be nothing but my car and... And Marthy's mighty unhappy. And you, you know something? What? You can't get home. Well, stick around a few minutes. I'll tow you home if everything comes out all right. Uh, want to trade it in on a good one? Nope, nope. Shucks, I just bought it yesterday from Jake, the generous gypsy. Every time anyone mentions a deal with that outfit, it's bad news. Well, sit down over there, Homer. I'll be with you in a few minutes. Okay. Now, if you'll sign right here, Mr. Anderson, you can take the car with you. Swell. Mm-hmm. And you're getting a good deal, let me tell you. It isn't often I cut $150 for anyone. Mm, I see. Now, this calls for $850. Mm-hmm. And $35 for the radio. Yeah, but it's an old radio like the one I had. Uh, the old ones are better than the new ones. Are they? And then the $50 for the two new white sidewalls. Oh, well, just, just add it up. Homer's waiting for me to tow him home. <laughs> Homer, I'm a dead duck. Uh, oh, what, well, what's the matter? You mean you can't make it? Look, if you make one crack about that car, I'll leave you right here on the boulevard. I've pulled you around corners, through alleys and up hills, and now you'll be happy to hear my clutch is out. Well, doggone it, don't blame me. I, I'm i right sorry, Oliver. I'll, I'll just call Pete's garage. Maybe he can help us. Well, go ahead and call him. I'll watch the car till you get back. I don't know how I'm going to explain this at home. <laughs> You think this car will run now, Pete? I should. It needed those new points. And his coil was weak. <clears throat> I'll try it now. Step on the starter and see what happens. Well, there she goes. All that'll do the trick. 
have home or bring it in tomorrow, and I'll go over it again. Okay, now, what about my car? Uh, you'll need a new clutch. A new clutch? I've tried. Probably get out of it for around $60. Oh, that's fine. But how am I going to get it home? Well, have home or tow you. It'll make it. Oh, okay, Pete. And thanks. <laughs> Do you see your father coming, Junior? No, nope. the bus just stopped, but he didn't get off. Well, I hope he didn't stop and buy some rattletrap car. Oh, he wouldn't do that, Mom. Pop knows a lot about cars. Just the same, you don't know what they've done to them. Hey, Mom, come here quick. Here comes Pop. What's so exciting about it? He's got two cars, Mom, tied together. Oh, no, that's all we need. Uh, they're turning into the driveway. Oh, I see now. He's pushing Homer's car. Well, of all things, treating a new car that way. Gee, Mom, it's sure a beauty. Green. Oh, no, not green. Come on out, Mom. Let's look at it. Oh. Unhook the rope, Homer, now, and back it up a bit. Oh, well, now, don't be in such a hurry. We got all night. I know I have. Ah, uh, Martha's a good woman. It looks like I'm going to have to sleep out again tonight. Gee, Pop, it's sure keen. Almost new, isn't it? Oh, oh hello, Junior. Yeah, that's pretty clean. Why, Oliver, it's almost like our other car. Yeah, I know it. Uh, back it up a bit, Homer. Well, all right, now get the family back out okay, of the way. Okay, fakes. Okay, now stand back, stand back. Homer's not too sure of himself. All right, everybody, stand clear. Hold it, hold it. Look at the car. Oh, I'm too sick, Mary. Gee, Pop, the whole front end. I know it, I know it. Oh, now look at my fenders. Your fenders? You shouldn't be allowed in a car. Oh, is that so? Yeah. That's what I get for trying to help a buddy. You help a buddy? That's how I tore the clutch out, helping you. Oh, no, you didn't do that, Oliver. Yeah. Well, if that's the way you feel when, when I'm just trying to help, you can pay for my fenders, Dag Nebia. I'll pay for nothing, and now you get that iron out of my driveway. Gee, Pop, Mr. Meister is sure mad at you. Well, let him be mad. And Mom isn't happy either, Pop. I can't help it. A person can only do so much. What are you going to do with it, Pop? Well, Pete will be here in a minute to give me an estimate. Mom thinks you should have waited and picked out a car with her. Sometimes I wish I had. Wow, you got her home all right, eh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, hiya, Pete. Yeah, we got it home. Take a look at it and tell me what it'll cost to fix it up, will you? How come you got rid of your other car? Well, it needed too much work on it. Work? Why, I put a new coil in it, adjusted the spark plugs caps, ran like a new car. It did? You mean it was okay? Why, sure. Ran like a top. Hmm. Oh, well, we all do things different, I guess. Yeah. I'll, I'll look her over. Uh, you didn't hear what he said, did you, Holmes, Junior? I, I didn't hear a word, Pop. Good. <clears throat> uh, how does it look under the hood, Pete? You say you traded off your car? Yeah, why? Either you're kidding me or you should have had your head gone over. You mean I should have kept it? Kept it? You've still got it. Uh, you mean you mean this? It, this is my car? It sure is. Same tape as on the wire I put on. And that crack plug on number three. But this one's green, Pop. Uh, yeah, yeah, look, Junior, you didn't hear that either. Now, suppose you run on in and keep real still about all this. Okay, Pop, but if Mom finds out, oh, brother. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, Pete, you take it down to the shop and put it in good condition. If you don't mention this to anyone, I'll see that you get Homer's work, too, and he'll have plenty, believe me. Okay, I'll tour in in the morning. Swell, and mail the bill to me at the office. Mm. <laughs> For us, Mom. Mm, I hope so. I know how worried your father is. You do? I should think he would be, too. Uh, uh what's happened, Mom? You'll promise not to say a word if I tell you. I promise. Well, we have to keep it a secret. If Oliver ever thought we knew, I'm afraid he'd leave town. What happened, Mom? I won't say a word, so help me. Okay. Is the door closed? Yeah. What is it? Do you know what your father did? Uh... Now, not everything. Well, he didn't know that the car he just bought is the same one I sold. Gee, Mom, are you sure? Mm -hmm, of course I am. I remember that torn place on the running board and that bent taillight. Mm, that green paint didn't fool me. 
Then you aren't peeved, Mom? Mm, of course not. After all, he should have gone to an old, established, reputable dealer. You know, I just thought of something. I've been wanting a new, some new clothes for a long time now. And I think now is the time to get them. The Anderson Family is written by Howard Swart, directed by Herb Litton, and features Dick Lane as Oliver, Louise Arthur as Mary, Walter Tetley as Junior, and Herbert Rollinson as Homer. Others in the cast were George Peroni and Doug Young. Music by Gordon Kibbe, sound effects by Ray Erlenborn, and your announcer is Ken Peters. The Anderson Family is a Hollywood broadcaster's production, transcribed in Hollywood. <laughs> Thank you.